Hi guys, I'd like to show you new Zen Sets update 2.2. With each version, the organization of working scenes becomes better and easier. For the previous Zen Sets version, we had this kind of end panel with a lot of buttons and very very long list, and sometimes it was very hard to find the necessary operator. And that's why in the new Zen Sets version, we added compact UI system where you can switch between panels enable a couple of panels with holding shift key and also you can pin these panels as this first one you can see this red indication because this panel this group list is the main but you can also unpin it with holding control key and pin again with control key in the preferences for compact UI system, you can change the style of the icons on the left side. You can change the width of pop-up panel. And if you don't like compact UI system, you can also enable floating panels as it was in the past and use it as it was before. Previously I mentioned pop-up menu, Ctrl Shift L and now you can call compact UI as pop-up menu whenever you want. It has absolutely the same functionality. New object panel is showing objects of the active group, no matter is it collection, sets or parts group. For example, let's select this object, Ctrl Shift D Smart Select, in this way we are selecting its collection and we can see all the objects that is belonging to this collection. Very cool. Also you can change collection here as well as select the objects. Also you can change some properties of some objects. Also you can enable selectable or change view layer visibility. When I have changed properties of my objects, I can filter them. For example, right now I can see all the objects, but also I can choose to see only visible objects or, for example, only selectable objects. For example, let's hide some objects in the scene. And how we can find what objects we hidden? We can go to scene collection, now we can see all the objects and when we press filter we can choose visible. Here we can see only visible objects and if we press this button we inverted this value and now we can unhide all the hidden objects. You can enable object levels if you have child objects to see them and also you can frame on selected object. Also objects panel is working in edit mode. Let's select some random objects, go to edit mode and now we can see the list of objects that now are in edit mode. Very cool and easy to use. If you have objects with linked data, it's also very easy to filter. Let's go to edit mode and in the filter let's choose unique data. And now we can see that linked cubed is no longer in the list. Also we can reverse it. We added new tool that is called group from camera objects and now you can send all the objects from your frame to the new group. Here we have two modes, RAID CAST and B BOX PLANES. Absolutely in the same way you can just select these objects, select camera objects and again we have these two modes B BOX PLANES and RAID CAST. If you need to select collection of your object, you can use this new feature Select Object Collections. Here you can see all the collections of our hierarchy and even if the object is belonging to more than one collection, you will see it right here. 
Previously we had assigned materials to groups tool only for sets and parts, but now we added it to collection. Ctrl Shift D, new group, new collection. And now we can use this assigned materials to groups. And when we disable our display option, we can see that materials were assigned to collection objects. Small but useful feature now when you are creating the new group, you can select the name of the active object as the name of the new group. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.